bullet holes right there piercing right through the windshield of this car and out the back side of it there barely uh, the people in there escaping the gunfire. News reporter Jared Aaron's live in College Grove now. Jared, to think that that was just part of a violent rampage. It was, and those bullets were just inches away from those teenagers' heads. Take a look at where they hit. One bullet right here in the driver's side door, just a few inches away from the windshield. Another through the back. You see the bullet hole right here, and it traveled the entire length of the car in between the driver and the passenger seat, hitting the dashboard. There's some damage right there and lodging in the front windshield. It passed right by those guys' heads as it flew through. Our 10 News breaking news tracker was here while police damage on the car, tried to find evidence so they can track down the shooter. The guys who were inside told them it was a man inside another car that chased them down, blocked them with the car, then he got out and opened fire. They say they don't know why he was shooting at them, but they do know who he is. They told police that the shooter is Salvador Ibarra. The cops told 10 News he's a known gang member. There was also another man inside the car with him, a driver. They're now looking for both of those men and also a gray Chevy Malibu that they were driving. As for the rest of that rampage overnight, police say the shooter also went to his ex-girlfriend's house last night, waving around his gun and even punching her, saying he will shoot any cop who tries to catch him. So they are operating this morning as they look for him, thinking he is armed and very dangerous. Live in College Grove, Jared Aarons, 10 News.